meeting for April 24th to order. Uh, the first item is to approve the consent agenda. We had minutes for two meetings for February and March, the administrative COAs and the new historic district property owners. I move approval. Uh, of the consent agenda, and I have Robin and I have put our heads together and made some corrections. Okay. So. Can I have a second? I second that. Okay. All opposed? No? Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 And there's no opposed. So we're, I don't have that. So I'm. Yeah, I didn't have that. Okay. Um, we're going to move on for a request of Mark Seamster for a COA to replace the existing side door. Those are the sketches. Uh, last Wait, time I was here, you can you, um, oh, Mark your Seamster name at 1311 name. Madison Street, Lynchburg, Virginia. And you're Mark Seamster? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, last time I was here, you wanted to see sketches. Uh, of the door that I was going to put on the side, so I went ahead and got the uh, sketches as the uh, that y'all requested here for approval. So, is there a change from when you were here the last time? Well, I didn't yes, have sketches did. last time, so this time I have sketches. Okay. All right. Um, so you're showing a glass door that you submitted, a French glass door, and then this is different now. So. You know, I've got this. That's what I have. That yeah, one. that's yeah. Basically, that was a picture or something to show you that one, uh, the sketch, and that's why y'all requested a sketch because uh, you wanted to see exactly what we had talked about raised panels. We talked about the uh, transom up top and the glass. The door is not that wide, so you can't. If you're limited to uh, you know what you can, how much glass you can get in the door. Uh, so this is basically the sketch that we that I came up with. And that's based on a conversation last time with raised panels, glass, and a transom. So exactly what I described uh, last time. Y'all just wanted to see a sketch before you approved it. Your rough opening was 30, 35, 36 30, inches, 36, 36 right? by 101. Yeah. And we're doing that same height as the front door with? Correct. If you, on the sketch, it says 84 inch tall door. Okay. And there's a transom on top? Yeah, that's correct. There's a sketch of it right there. But it's not a, a glassed-in French door. I'm sorry? There's not glass. There's raised panels. Yeah, panel it's glass. Yeah. It's glass in here. Okay. <clears throat> Can't get a whole lot in, in a 36-inch open of two doors. <laughs> <laughs> what is the recommendation of the applications uh, I think he's uh, submitted what we asked for, and I think it meets the guidelines. Okay. Are there any, is there any discussion? What's the hardware you'll be using on the door? That's mahogany, uh, so it's all wood, mm -hmm. no, no vinyl, no man-made material, but everything will be wood. Okay. And the, uh, the, the locking hardware and such? Lock, lock and hardware is going to match what's on the back, which is, you know, a, a lever handle style hardware. Okay. Know. So just your, nothing fancy. I don't want the door to jump out, stand out, and say, mm -hmm. here I am. It needs to be a door that, that's there. Mm -hmm. You can't see that door on the side of the house going down the road. Right. So you don't want it to be a statement. You, you know, it's got a storm door on the outside now. Okay. You just want to put a door in that, in that hole. Well, that room is usable. Right. Uh, you can utilize it, and it, it'll little, let a little light in with the, sure. with the glass, and it look more like it belongs there or appropriate. You know. Is the storm door uh, storm doors going away? I, I'm hoping to get rid of it uh, okay. because it's you know it's not uh, you know I don't really like it. So right. you know, mm -hmm. but maybe a Chippendale door. I had to come back if I go with something different. But right. it's a storm door currently on there. Mm -hmm. I can leave it on there, but I'll probably come back for a Chippendale door. Chippendale door, you know, mm -hmm. just something that look a little bit nicer, just screen door. Because with this, I don't think I'll need that storm door. Certainly. Somebody modified and put what's in there. They they uh, did a terrible job, mm -hmm. and it's you know it, it's just it's you can't use that room or the door the way it's set up. Right. You know, 36 inch door in a in a small room open and done work. Yeah. 
It won't even open all the way. Putting the, 30, uh, the mahogany because of its uh, weather resistance, or it, it, it's a better material, so I didn't want to go with cheap. I mean, you know, why put a, a door in the side that's going to rot if you used, you know, staining it, painting it. Well, the outside would be painted to match, and the inside painted as well. I'm not going to stain it because there, there again, it will jump out, and you don't, you don't need that. I mean, um, just quality wood, you know. I'll make a motion to be approved as submitted. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank Appreciate you. it. Y'all have a great evening. Thank you thank for your patience. You're welcome. <laughs> now, um, do we have anything for the second one, or has that been withdrawn? Um, I have a note here that. Uh, that the petitioner could not be here today. He is aware that you cannot table it again, so okay. you're going to have to take action. What you've done in the past is you've just denied it and uh, recommended that they reapply when they can attend. So do we need to go through making a motion and everything? Mm -hmm. Okay. I make a motion that the application be denied as submitted Okay. And reapplication. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Opposed? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Gilbert just sit down and tell us your name and your address. Um, Tina Gilbert, 1001 Harrison Street. Okay. And what's your project? I want to build a fence. Okay. That's it? That's it. I okay. want a fence. I want a fence in my backyard. <laughs> um, the applications committee? I sent pictures of what I thought it would look like, something like that. Um, it's only on three, well, it's actually um, three sides because my neighbor has a chain link fence. Okay. Um, he it's been that's there so I was just trying to I have two dogs and I want to keep them contained and give them more room to run except on a lead so also they bark at people so I kind of like to not have them bark at people <laughs> so I didn't want any kind of fence where you could see through I didn't want a picket fence or anything like that where you could see through right. them I wanted to have something that was a privacy fence and that was pretty much the most expensive thing I think I can afford to be honest um, according to our guidelines it has to be painted or finished you know finished in some way you can't just put a wood fence up is that going to be a problem can't put a wooden fence it has to be stained, stained, stained or painted, painted to um, not match the house but at least um, be compatible with what you have on the house okay um, so what would that be like a well it says it says stock um, Fences should be finished side visible to the outside. In other words, that side, which is the, the unfinished side, has to be inside to you. Right. And the finished side has to be facing the neighbors or the street, wherever it is. Okay. And stained or painted to blend with the building. So you can stain it or paint it. Okay, I would probably stain it then. I'd probably stain it um, that gray driftwood color that goes because my house is gray. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably stain mm -hmm. it. I think it would hold up better because paint peels after a while, and mm -hmm. then you have to. And, and after the weathering process too. Yeah, and, it, and if yeah. it's pressure treated, it's not mm -hmm. gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. Stain it, right? I mean, have you considered any foundation plantings or anything like that? Foundation plantings, planting like bushes. On the outside, I I hadn't. Okay. Um, so that's not in our guidelines, but I just wondered if you'd considered it. Um, well, I I did take down a lot of bushes and stuff along that road. That's fine. Um, more than likely, if I was going to paint, you know, I'm not a big bush fan. If I was going to plant anything, it'd probably be like hostas 
or um, decorative or decorative grass okay. just because it's easier to maintain uh, we have a I can tell you right now that we have an ivy thing going on back there really? on Federal Hill <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine there would be a lot of ivy that would be needed to be contend with, but um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I probably would be time because it's, we're talking a, a lot of money just to put it up. So, okay. But yeah, I mean, I, I plan to do a whole lot with the yard. Okay. I'll make a motion that it be approved as submitted, with the stipulation that the finished side of the fence faces the exterior and that it be painted or stained to be compatible with the building. Okay. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Okay. And I have a year from now to do that, is yes. that correct? Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, Jack Nasser. Okay, come on up. Come on up and sit down. Uh, hello. So, what is your name? I'm Emily, his wife. Okay. And what is the address? It's two two one two Rivermont Avenue. Okay. Can you tell us about your project? Yeah, we're looking to put a railing around the front of the bricks. We have a baby on the way, so we there's quite a drop from the top of the porch to the bottom. So we're looking to put an iron railing around that and then a gate where the front entryway is because we have a couple stairs that are pretty steep going down. They're the original greenstone, so they're pretty sharp. And then we also want to put a fence around <laughs> the front yard and the backyard. Okay. We recently had a dog run into our front yard and almost attack me and our puppy. Oh. So we've decided we kind of need to have something to protect okay. us on that. There's a lot of dogs that people let run free in the park and walking by, so we want to be able to have a safe environment. And that would also be a iron fence as well. Has the applications committee looked at this? We have. And I just need a little, I think we need a little more information. For instance, you just added some fence to this original application, I think. You, uh, yes, the front part. Okay, so I see your pictures on here, but I don't know where, what's going where. Um, can you go to the first one, Tom? Yeah, okay, so we have this one that's on a deck. And then yes, the next that would one. Be Yes, those would be the type that we'd want to put on the front porch, and like then, maybe then, a little bit shorter, but that type of a design or could type you go of metal. To the next one, Tom. What's this one? Those were the two options for the front, maybe a design or just a straight up. Okay, so you have to fence. give us a, you have to tell us which one. Okay, I'd go with the first one that we just had. That one would look nicer around the house. It matches the railing as well. So that one would be for the front of the house? Yes, for the front porch. On the porch? Yes. And the, and the gate would be the same? Yes. Okay. And so show us now what you want for the back and the front. Now the what, That would be the gate for the front walkway for the fence. For the because, front of the house? Yes, because our mailman does have to get to the front porch. Our mailbox is on the front of the house. So that would be the gate for the front, and then a gate like that also for the backyard. And then that would be the fence that would go around the perimeter of our property. And is and what is the material of that? That is a metal or an iron type of thing. Is it solid or is it hollow? Iron? No, it's solid. So it's like a, so it's like an iron fence? Yes. Where did you spec that out? The Home Depot? Lowe's? Uh, Lowe's. Lowe's. I, I want to say that's... Uh, Aluminum. Yeah. Oh, um, the thing online said metal. We haven't looked at it in the store yet. And that's uh, held in with uh, um, holes. sunk yeah. post, not concrete. I don't know. I have to defer Commissioner Morris about the... Uh, about the what? Uh, about... 
about the guidelines whether it would permit that type of fence. Well, that's what it's I'm not permanent. To, put um, it that way, it's not permanent. Aluminum, I think, is appropriate for the back. Am I not correct? Because mm -hmm. that's what you have. But I don't know if it is for the front. That's what I'm trying to find because this is you just gave this to us. Does anyone see where it says about the metal fences? I'm looking at wood. Maybe I'm missing something here. With boards on Cast iron. Hmm. I did see something about that. That's powder coated steel. What is? That that fence. Powder coated That steel? fence and gate are powder coated steel. Okay, so I think that would be appropriate. Yeah. Okay. Um, Do you know what railings were originally on the house, the front porch? Is there I any have ghosting no idea. Or? They used to have shrubs around it. Mm -hmm. We just bought the house about two months ago, and the owners who just sold the house had taken down the shrubbery that had been there. Mm -hmm. And the big flower beds, there were really overgrown shrubs that have been there for a while now. They've not, to my knowledge, they haven't had anything. Okay. He was redoing the greenstone when they put the house on the market. Okay. Okay. Um, I have to ask a question before I make a, <laughs> a motion. Does anyone in this committee have any problem with her doing either one of those first two rails on her porch? Okay. Yeah. I would prefer the for her first choice because it matches the existing railings according to that photograph that mm -hmm. was before uh, of the front of the home. The yeah. the ball the metal balusters are straight. There's there's one on there already? There's just yes, the, hand the hand railings. Rails. See? Oh, oh, oh. Those okay. have been those are original to the house. Yeah. Oh. Is it possible for you to match those handrails? Yes. Instead of the one you put, the one you the one you have on the picture are um, ho uh, hollow. But these are these are readily available for for anyone to. So if you if you want to match them, I think it would be a good idea to match them rather than use a yeah, different that's one fine. that's just close to it. Yeah, that's fine. We okay. can do that. Then I will make a motion that. The fence, which is made out of powder coated steel, powder coated steel, as shown on your, um, as shown in the picture, meets the guidelines, and that the rail for the porch should be should match the existing rail on your stairway. Okay, that is perfectly fine. We can do that. Okay. All right, thank you. Wait, we need to vote. Okay. <laughs> second. Okay, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, there are no opposed. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good luck. Thank Your you. new house. <laughs> uh, Rivermont Restoration, LLC. <laughs> Maybe me. <laughs> Oh, really? oh, Richard Morris, <laughs> representing Rivermont Restoration LLC. Okay. Can you tell us about your project? I would, uh, in the application it says that I want to change it to uh, change the cedar siding to hardy plank I just want the option of doing that um, it's a secondary building it's a garage 
and it is in the rear of the house facing G Street. Okay. That's it. All right. So that means you'll do cedar if you can, but you yeah. like to be able to I, do it. I guess what I'm looking at is when I when it when push comes to shove, what the cost is going to be for the cedar. The last time I checked cedar, it was, it was very very high, um, but it but it it fluctuates. So. So I, I may use the cedar. And I think, did you bring that sample? The sample of the siding, I think Tom asked for this, is this, which would most likely, I, I wouldn't use the textured side, I'd probably use the flat side. And it would have the same exposure, whatever the house is. If the house has a six-inch exposure, then that's what that would have. Did the applications committee? Yes, that, um, the um, Hardy Planks meet the guidelines, and I move that um, Mr. Morris be allowed to have the option of using Hardy Planks instead of cedar siding. Okay. And are you making a motion? Yes. I need a second. Second. Okay. Uh, any discussion about this? No? Okay. Shall we go ahead and vote? All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And there's no opposition. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Is, did you ladies have? Yes. Um, You're not on our agenda, but you're supposed to be on it, that's for sure. But look at the you're the shed. shed, right. Did you email that or drop it all? I emailed it December the 23rd. Wow. You emailed it when? December the 23rd. And then had some correspondence uh, in March What's the last regarding name? what happened to it. What's, what's, your, what's your last name? Gerber, G-E-R-B-E-R. I figured there was no meaning because there were holidays on both of the Mondays in January and February. All right, so the last email, which was 316, said you did not have a design. They want to be flexible to the committee's requirements. Yes. I'm thinking that a painted shed is going to attract more attention. That's true. So is it the same shed as last time? Pretty much the same shed, but um, flexible on if it, if it would be better to do a painted shed with a metal roof. So that was the shed. Yes. And what I'm interested in is, is that the um, denial? Yes. Okay, there was another document that um, shows my new proposed location. I can re-email that to you, but it'll take a few minutes, or I can pass around my pictures. Or can you show us on a map up here? Sure. Um, and I'm 
Uh, He's going to show you a map of oh, your property, great, great. and then you can show him where the, where it's going to go. Back left side of the house, right? Yes. Uh, yes, yes, I remember that. Well, you wanted to put it closer to the house. I did want to, but it was, it's a matter of like... You know, what I really don't want to do is like any kind of architectural stuff. I just want to get it up and get the stuff out of my kitchen so I can have people over for lunch. You so know, and so. It was right here. Right. Yeah, okay, so it's it's really further back. That lot um, behind it is also to get there. You own that property? <clears throat> yes. What, yes, it's a Clay Street lot. We've got a pointer and you can point. Yeah, actually, can you scroll it down just a hair? Um, let me see if I can. Okay, we're up here somewhere. Show house 501. Yes, it's 501, and let me do this one more time. This this lot right here is technically on Clay Street. This right, you know, that I don't own. I own this lot. So I wanted to put it, you can see where the hill goes up right here. It's very steep. So what I was hoping to do was put it right in here. So there's a little bit of tree covering. Actually, it's great right now. Um, and so I wanted to put it, you can see by the picture, I wanted to put it so that the long side goes this away. Where's your house? So your house My house is right, right there. there. You're putting it where? I'm putting it right, wait a minute, sorry. Yeah, right in there, right in there. So it's a double lot? It's a. It's really not as much a double lot as that was all split up. That that lot right there, that um, Clay Street lot is isolated. Yeah, it's two lots. Okay. It's, it's just isolated. Yeah, do you know approximately how many feet back that is? Um, it's about, I want to say, at my lot is 165, the front lot, I think it's 165, and the other lot is 90. And so it would be about, um, okay, is that the, that's Luckily Lot? Oh, okay, so, okay, so it would be back a little bit more than that, um, and a little, to a little to the um, west or northwest, yeah, about right in there. So about 200 feet. Yes, about 200 feet. And I have the, um, fortunately, the surveyor stake is over there, so I can do trigonometry and come off and make sure that it's set back like five feet off of um, anybody else's property lines. Um, also, what I hope to do, right now it looks like a jungle back there, but, you know, tree-wise, so it wouldn't be very visible. But what I was hoping to do was put some kind of evergreen growth up here to block the view. That was an issue. And um, some stuff on this side of it, so a direct, there wouldn't be much of a direct view, but I could still see the door from, from the house, you know, for security reasons. Is it possible for you to plant some screening in front of that shed? In front of it on which side? Well, I'm assuming... On the road side? On yeah, the side, in other words, yes. near the building so that it could be a little... You know, I mean, I yes. don't know that you have to screen it entirely, but right. just I could to do soften that. it so that... Uh, yes, I, I could certainly do that. Um, and does your house have a metal roof on it? It does have a metal roof, and so I want to get a metal roof shed. Okay. And I would like to have the option to either have a sort of wood stain or painted similar to the house. Because, I, you know, when I, when I go shopping, I just, you know, I want to have those options. One, there, the advantage of, to the, having a, a wood stain is it will blend in more because it's really going to be up under trees in the, um, especially in the summertime, but also in the wintertime, it would be less obvious. But with, um, with, the, uh, it, with painted, it looks a little more finished. So, you know, I just really need a 
kind of go shopping, but I would like to have one of, you know, one of those options, or do I need to make a decision on which one? I'll make a motion that your shed be approved as submitted, that it is located on lot 309 to the left side of that property as indicated on the map that was supplied to the committee that there be screening toward the front of 501 street level and that there would be screening at the shed and that there would be a metal roof and you have the option of staining it or, color, or painting it the color of the house. Is that suitable? Absolutely. Can I ask one question? How many square feet is the shed? Pardon? How many square feet is Um, I originally, I have that here, um, and I can we send it? I want to say I originally said no more than 12 by 18, and so it's going to really not be that big, probably 10 by 16. But I'd like, you know, I don't, I don't know if I can get 12 by 18 back there, to be honest with you, unless it's built on site. I also would put in the recommendation in, in the uh, motion that the gable side face the street. The, that means the end part, right? Right. Okay. The part you see here without yes. any windows yes. or doors. Okay. Yes, that's that's what I want to do. Right, there, there's a reason for that question. Okay. Um, the square footage. See the maximum size. Two fifty six. Before you have to get a building permit. Okay. And if you have to get a building permit, you're going to have to vacate this lot line between three hundred nine and five hundred one. What do you mean? I'm going to have to do what to the lot line? If you go over 256 square feet, you would have to get a building permit. Okay. And when you go to apply for the building permit, we're not going to approve just a standalone accessory structure on a separate lot. Gotcha. But it's so, okay if I'm under 256? Yeah. Okay. What size um, did you say that was? The maximum was 12 by 18. So that's like 216 square feet. So she, she'll be fine. I just okay. wanted you to be aware if Thank you, you go over. I appreciate that. that. And can we keep this, Tom, as a reference to what the motion I just made? Well, I'll keep it. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. <laughs> I need a second. I second. Okay. Um, are we ready to vote or are we still mm -hmm. discussing? Unless, unless anyone has a comment. Mm -hmm. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 And all opposed? Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. Very sorry. Is there any other business to come before this body? Okay. We're adjourned then. Thank you.